Families and friends gather together, either when someone gets married, or when someone dies. Randy has yet to experience getting married, considering his mature age, but immature mentality. He found himself sitting on one corner of a huge, dimly lit room of a funeral home. He must have dozed off, because of extreme exhaustion from work last night. He looked around and saw people whom he hasn't seen in ages. They carried flowers, exchanged pleasantries, and gave condolences, by gently holding each other's shoulders as a sign of consolation. The number of people swarming inside the room overwhelmed him. Because being socially inept, he is not fond of any social gatherings. If he had his own way, he would have never come to the wake or viewing. If not only for his mother and father, who both looked gloomy when they left the house. He would have just stayed in his room and played video games. He was watching the crowd. When he noticed an elderly couple standing near the casket. Staring at him intently. Randy can't help but fix a sight at the two. He thought that they were strangely familiar. He felt jitters when he realized who they were. They were his grandparents. He was supposed to be overjoyed because he hasn't seen them for so long. But instead, he got terrified. Because they died years ago. Randy immediately closed his eyes and scratched them vigorously. When he opened them, they were gone. He heaved a sigh of relief. He sprinted to the bathroom to wash his face. Trying to convince himself that he was hallucinating. And that his mind is playing tricks on him, due to fatigue. Randy was washing his face, when he heard someone singing in one of the toilet stalls. Here in the forest, dark and deep, I offer you, internal sleep. He thought the voice was oddly familiar. At that moment, chilling air enveloped his body. He slowly walked towards the stall where the singing was coming from. He was terrified, but his curiosity is greater than his fear. He peeped inside the stall slowly, and was shocked to what he has seen. A girl with long black hair, was on top of the closed toilet bowl. Randy's eyes were fixed on her, as he heard her say, Why do you seem so scared? All I wanted to do was play with you. Please come and play with me. I am so lonely. You're not afraid of the dark, are you? Don't be afraid. Come with me. I will show you where I play hide and seek. Do you want to play hide and seek? You hide and I'll find you. You're going to die in there. Randy cannot be mistaken. It was his sister who died last year. Even though he misses her, he was horror stricken. He ran out of the bathroom and went inside the funeral room, where he found everyone seated. Everyone was listening intently to his mother, who was giving a eulogy in his honor. Randy became extremely confused. Nothing made sense to him. He approached the casket slowly and looked inside it. He was speechless and in disbelief when he saw his pale lifeless body lying inside the coffin. Then all of a sudden, his last memories came rushing in his mind. He remembered he had a car accident. He saw people around him. He got cold, felt numb. He closed his eyes and his mind went blank. Randy was sobbing while looking at his body inside the casket. When suddenly, someone held his hand. It was his sister, reaching out to him. Beside her were his grandparents. Randy accepted his fate. The lights of the funeral room flickered. Everyone got jitters. Then finally, Randy closed his eyes for the last time. His mind went blank. And his existence, disappeared to nothingness.